So you don't understand the point of a bone-driven controller. Not a problem. Bone-driven controller nodes are very similar to the apply percentage rotation node. The only difference is instead of controlling a bone's rotation from another rotation, we can also control the position and scale. And for you gun nuts out there, I know this is not how the scope works in real life, but for the sake of the tutorial, just go with me here. Let's say we have a gun scope and whenever this knob is rotated, we want the scope to extend forward a little. Well, to do that, if we have a bone-driven controller node, the source should be set to the bone that drives the movement. In our case, it's the rotation of this bone, and specifically rotating on this axis. The destination bone is what we want to move based on the source. In our case, it's this bone. And we want it to travel forwards and backwards on this axis. So if we compile now, you should see the bone moving when we rotate the source. But if it's too much or too little, all we gotta do is go under multiplier and increase or reduce this number until you're happy. Once you've done that, you're done.